Now for our story. Peggy Douglas, wearing a light summer dress and white sandals, followed a winding path which led along the river bank at the north end of town. It was shady and cool under the trees which edged the bank. The sweet, clean smell of the river and the pleasant, rippling sound it made swept Peggy back to the past. She remembered other summers, happy ones. But perhaps this one might still be happy, Peggy was thinking. I hope Bill's there first. No, I don't. I'd rather be there waiting for him. Last winter, when I met Bill here, told him goodbye, I was going to marry Nicholas. Poor Bill. But it's all right now. It's going to be all right. Down below, I can see the bridge where Randy met Lisa that time. If, if Randy hadn't come along, hadn't saved Lisa, we might never have known about the babies being hers. Bill would always have thought... But that's all over. The babies with Lisa and Lance. Kit. I wonder where she went. What happened to her. I don't want to think about that now. In a few minutes, I'll see Bill. And as the young girl hurried to their meeting place, a bench under a big tree on the sloping river bank, the young man she loved was waiting anxiously. His thoughts as turbulent and excited as her own. She's late. She ought to be here. Maybe she's changed her mind about coming. Oh, no, Peggy wouldn't. Oh, I'm so glad she chose to meet me here. This is our own place. We've made it ours. Oh, that first summer, she was so lovely. I'll never forget. I'd never known anyone like her before. I was almost afraid of her. So many things in between now. But we can forget them. We must. We can be happy. Well, I've learned a lot these last months. We've both grown up a lot. I was such a fool letting her go, messing up both our lives. When I try to remember how it all happened, it seems crazy. Letting Kit... No. No, I won't think about Kit. We're safe now. Nothing can... Peggy. Bill... I... Darling, give me your hand. Don't try to talk. Not yet. Oh, Bill. Now, this is better. You know, while I sat here waiting for you, I began to imagine all sorts of things. I began to doubt that you'd even turn up. You should have known I would, Bill. Yeah, but... Well, it seemed too good to be true. That I could be here with you without feeling that it was wrong. Feeling guilty. But we could look at each other without needing to hide our feelings. <sighs> Although I'm afraid I've never been very good at that. I should have felt sometimes you must surely know what I was thinking. I guess I did, Bill. But you see, I felt the same way. We've been lucky. Lots of people never get a second chance. Yeah, that's right. Oh, but let's not think of this as a second chance, Peggy, dear. Let's forget all the past. Pretend we're back at the beginning again with a whole future ahead of us. I'd like to do that, Bill. And yet, it may not be possible. Perhaps it's foolish of me, but I feel uneasy. Uneasy? But why? Well, about Kit. The way she disappeared. I keep wondering where she is, what's happened to her. I try not to think about it, but... Yeah, I know, I do too. But it is foolish. That, that's all over now. Wherever she is, it shouldn't matter to us. Oh, I'm not being callous, darling, but we, we've wasted so much time. Now that I know what she did... Yes, the baby. Letting you believe it was yours and... But you're right, Bill. Let's not talk about it. I hoped you'd say that. The river's the same anyway. And so are we. 
No, that's not quite true. I love you more. That first summer we were together, I would have said that was impossible. But I loved you as much as it's possible to love anyone. But now I found out I was wrong. Strange, Bill. When you say you love me, it, it sounds right and good. It makes me terribly happy. But with Nicholas, it was different. I always felt miserable. I, I didn't like to talk about it. I guess I felt guilty, as if I were taking advantage of him. Poor Nicholas. And yet he's a wonderful guy. Oh, yes, Bill. Even when it looked as if we didn't have a chance, when your wedding to Nicholas was all set, I couldn't hate him. That was the odd part of it. He felt the same way about you. Well, darling, it is tough on him. But in the long run, he'll be much better off. I mean, it must be almost as miserable to live with someone who doesn't love you as it is to live with someone you don't love. I found out how that is. Gosh, sometimes I thought I... But we said we weren't going to talk about the past. We mustn't have any barriers, though. If we try to force ourselves not to think of the past, it'll be that much worse. Yes, darling, you're right. And anyway, it won't be very long before the present will make a nice protective layer. The past will begin to recede without our knowing it. That's what I mean. If we don't try to force it back. Yeah. You know, you've become a very wise young woman, Peggy. I'm proud of you. Wise? Sometimes I think I'm pretty much of a dope, Bill. I only learn what's right by doing things wrong to begin with. <laughs> well, darling, I certainly haven't distinguished myself from my good judgment. But you had a much worse problem than I had. You weren't just responsible for yourself. You tried to do what was best. Yeah, but I certainly managed to muddle things up. Oh, darn it, I wish I could stop thinking about it. Here we are, after all the grief we've both been through, and... and instead of making love to you, which is what I want to do, I keep wasting valuable time by talking about the past. Oh, don't worry about it. It might be romantic if we rushed into each other's arms and went on as if nothing had ever gone wrong. But I guess that's not the way things happen in real life, Bill. I wonder if I'll ever get used to you, really. You know, when you came towards me a little while ago, it was just as if I'd seen you for the first time, sweetheart. You look so lovely. I wanted to. Randy teased me while I was getting ready. He said he never saw anyone take so long. But you see, I got to daydreaming. Um, was I in those daydreams of yours? Oh, yes. Good. Was anyone else? No. And, um, uh, where were we in your dreams, sweetheart? We were right here, Bill. Where we are now. Oh, Peggy. Peggy. Bill. Darling. Did you dream that I kissed you? Yes, Bill. Well, it's not a dream now, my love. From now on, our kisses will be real ones. As the two young people embraced, the thing they both longed for but feared could not be happened. They forgot the past completely, erased it in the joy of finding themselves together in a way which no words, no amount of talking could bring about. They belonged to each other, and they knew it in their hearts. 